Welcome to the CEO Leadership Series. Today we're in Beirut with Mr. Saad Azari, Chairman and General Manager of Blom Bank. Blom Bank is one of the largest banks in Lebanon. Mr. Azari has been with Blom for almost 20 years. Uh, he was previously the Vice Chairman and Chairman since 2008. So today we're going to talk about um, Mr. Azari's views on the market and his plans for Blom Bank uh, in the future. Mr. Azari, uh, it's been an interesting eight months throughout the year with slightly improved sentiments on the global economy, but industry players are still concerned about issues such as geopolitical tensions, trade wars, interest rates, um, and closer to home, obviously, stability within the region. So what are your views on these and how do you think it has impacted the Lebanese banking sector and the economy as a whole? First of all, thank you for coming to Beirut, and uh, we are very pleased to have you here. Uh, for sure, I mean, there are a lot of things that are happening. Like you said, in terms of uh, on the international scene, we have seen interest rates uh, going up and have impacted a lot of uh, countries. Uh, also, on a regional level, uh, since now four years, we have seen the oil price drop sharply and affected, in general, the growth levels of especially the Gulf countries and, and the region. Uh, more importantly for us in Lebanon, we have seen the Syrian crisis in 2011 that had a very important impact uh, on Lebanon. Uh, economic impact because of the presence of the refugees, a large number of refugees in Lebanon, also affected uh, our tourism uh, and uh, definitely the growth level in Lebanon went down. So all those had an effect and uh, really Lebanon uh, uh, suffered, uh, like I said, lower growth, uh, larger deficits because of uh, all those, uh, especially the Syrian crisis. Yeah. But in spite of that, Blom Bank still managed to uh, get net profits of 4.4% within the first half of this year. Yes. So could you tell us what this is attributed to and how did you achieve this? And obvious current operating conditions. Yes, there was a slight increase around 4%. I mean, we used to have, you know, over years, yes, double-digit growth and double... So we have a slight, slight improvement in, in the results. Uh, I think, I mean, uh, for two reasons. First of all, in Lebanon, we have a better net interest margin, especially the central bank is paying relatively uh, good rates and we had more placement with the central bank. And on a regional level, uh, our operations, especially in Egypt and in the UAE, we had good, good growth in, in those countries. Well, obviously, the bank has various capabilities from retail to commercial banking and investment banking to insurance. So what would you say is Blom Bank's core strengths and how do you leverage on these when you operate in such you know, trying conditions? Well, our core strengths is that we are involved in all those activities. So we are not specialized in one activity. So we are a leader in retail banking in Lebanon, not only in Lebanon, but also in Egypt, in Jordan. So we are very strong in the, in the retail banking. In trade finance and corporate, uh, after the acquisition of HSBC uh, branches in Lebanon in July last year, we also strengthened a lot this activity and we became a market leader in this activity. Also, we are very active in terms of private banking and asset management. Uh, so we are really trying to, to and the SME market, we are very also a leader in the SME market. So we are not concentrated in one area and we want to strengthen uh, all areas in Lebanon and, and outside Lebanon. When you talk about, um, you mentioned SME market. So obviously business activity in Lebanon has sort of gone on a, not to say more subdued scale. How has that been uh, for the bank's activities? We have seen, like you said, I mean, the, the situation because of the higher interest rates, we are not seeing loan growth that we used to see uh, before. So hopefully this will come back when we have more uh, stability and we have a new government and there's a new investment plan uh, and then definitely we'll have uh, bigger growth in terms of uh, lending activity for both SME, corporate and, and retail. But we have, because we are a diversified bank and we are not concentrated in one area, we are able to really, uh, in Lebanon and outside Lebanon, compensate for any weakness in, in any area. 
So you mentioned inside Lebanon and outside Lebanon. So I understand that Blombang has quite a vast network across the globe. So with these capabilities in hand, uh, can you tell us more about your plans, your expansion plans for the bank moving forward? Currently, we are present in 12 countries. And the second most important country for us is Egypt. And we are witnessing really the best results for the group is in Egypt. The very high level of return on equity, very high growth rate. And really, Egypt is uh, you know, one of the biggest countries in, in, in the Arab world. And has a very important economy. And uh, they have a lot of uh, resources. So we are very positive on Egypt. We, are, we have opened now, we have more than 40 branches now in Egypt. And this is growing very, very fast. And uh, I think I see a very big. Do you have big any expansion plans? For yes, you? we are growing. We are growing. I mean, uh, you know, a few years ago we had eight branches. Now we are forty. Mm -hmm. So we are growing, and we are continuing to grow. We have four or five more branches in the pipeline. We are growing also our internet activity. We are so we are growing in all businesses in the SME corporate. Also, we are active in the brokerage, in the insurance business, also in Egypt. So we see it as a big potential, and this is a uh, you know Second also. Yes, I mean, this is something that, uh, that is, uh, uh, we are doing all activities that we are doing in Lebanon, we are doing them in Egypt. Mm -hmm. The same also, we are growing our business in Jordan. Even though Jordan is a much smaller market, but we are gaining our market share, gaining market share in, in Jordan. Also, our presence in the Gulf is, uh, is growing. And we, when, we, when we see opportunity, because we have limited licenses in the Gulf, but we are trying always to try to have more licenses and to do more business in, in the Gulf. So this is something that uh, the, the bank will continue. We, we believe we are not only a leading bank in Lebanon. Uh, we are also, we are able wherever we go to play a leading role in those countries and we try to become really a leading bank in, in the region. Obviously that is the, just the region. Perhaps you could elaborate more on other sort of geographies within the world if there's any. So our uh, regional presence is very important and in the region we do all types of uh, banking activities. Outside the region, we are more a specialized bank. So we are present mostly in Europe. We have uh, branches in Paris, London, uh, Geneva, uh, Cyprus, and Romania. And the, the presence that we have in Europe is more, mostly to service our Lebanese and Arab customers. So we are not really a retail bank or uh, you know, a local bank. We are really a bank there to service the Arab uh, customers. And this is, uh, they are doing well, and we are continuing to, to grow our business in, in Europe. Obviously, one of the biggest things in the industry is technology, not just in banking, but it's all across the board. So what are your plans on the digital front for Blom Bank, since all the banks are all going on to a digital transformation journey right now? Like you said, it's very important. The digital transformation is very important. And the bank in Lebanon was a leader in that. We were the first to introduce internet banking. We have a lot of products, eCash, eBlom. Also now we have Blom Pay. Uh, so we have a lot of activities in, in the, I mean, we are expanding a lot in the digital. And we are doing that also, we are encouraging our employees to convince customers to use the digital technology. So we have our scheme of compensation for customers is in a way uh, we increase the compensation for, the, for, our, uh, for our employees if they convince the customers to use digital technology because it's cheaper for us mm -hmm. and there are less errors. So this is something that we are very keen on. And also now we have a major campaign, TV campaign. If you open the TV now, you, you find the, our cam campaigns uh, trying also to, to show the customers how easy to, to contact the bank, easy. yes. To, and to use digital technology. We have someone called Tant Wadad, an old woman who's able to do everything on uh, digit, digitally, and how easy it is. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's a, it has a big success currently in, in Lebanon. So this is something that we are pushing. And not only we are changing the bank, but also we are pushing our customers and our employees to really uh, move to, do, to digital technology. So when you talk about technology and digital transformation, obviously a lot of people have asked the question, what is the bank of the future? So what do you think is the bank of the future for, uh, for Blom? How would it look like? Well, banks have always changed. I mean, to, have to, to, be, to be frank, I mean, this is not something, we have been always evolving. And uh, if you look how banks functioned 60 years ago, it's completely different than, than today, and I'm sure it will, 
it will change over time. Uh, but the, the, the basic thing is that banks are uh, trusted, they are well regulated, and this will stay. So people, when they are saying that you know, there's no role for banks in the future, I don't think so. Banks will stay you know, and they will have always a, a role because they are well regulated, uh, they are trustworthy, and this is not uh, something that is easy to, to gain the trust of, of the customers. But we have, I mean, like we have when, we, when the introduction of the computers came and there was a major change, now with all the digital technology, banks are moving more and more to give uh, easy access to customers through the digital experience and to modernize the, their systems. As a bank that has operated for over five decades, how do you now plan to position Blom in the financial landscape of the Lebanese economy? And when you look to the future, what sort of challenges do you expect? What challenges do you foresee and how do you plan to manage them? Well, already uh, Blom Bank in Lebanon is a leading bank in Lebanon. This is not, I'm, I'm not saying that, you are saying that. Yes, bank in the Middle East, uh, <laughs> banker, your money, I mean, we have from all international uh, organizations that follow uh, Lebanon, they, they consider us as a leading bank in Lebanon and we want to keep this position. So we are doing all necessary to, to keep our leading position in Lebanon. But also, as I mentioned before, we are present in 12 countries, mostly in the region. And we believe we want to strengthen our, our position there. And we want also to be a leading bank in the region. And this is really where the positioning of, of Blom is to be a leading bank in the, in the region. Uh, uh, and uh, we are going, I mean, we are facing a lot of challenges. I mean, like all the banks, I mean, we have challenges in terms of the digital technology, that there's always a transformation that, that has to, we have to continue to, uh, to go ahead with that. And by the way, I have a computer background. I have done my master's in computer engineering. <laughs> so maybe, I mean, being, having a background of computer and business is, is helpful in the, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So digital technology is very important. Uh, it's very important also, I mean, we have a lot of changes, political changes, un political uncertainties in the region and uh, you, we have to be conservative and uh, because of the, the challenges that we face. Lebanese banks and Blom are ready for that because since 1975, we always pass through difficult times. Civil wars, wars, assassinations. So Lebanese banks are, um, know how to manage and to be resilient in difficult uh, times. And unfortunately, you know, the region is passing through difficult times and in the foreseen you know, future, we are going to continue to face uh, problems. We also have challenges in terms of uh, all the sanctions and all the international regulations. And I think also we are very well positioned Lebanese bank to, fa to face that. So I am really, um, I believe that Lebanese banks uh, have the good uh, knowledge in terms of staff. We have very ex experienced people. We have been always open to international banks and, and regional banks. So we are leaders in Lebanon, not because our market is protected, but because there is a good know-how in, in banking in Lebanon. And this will help us to continue to play a major role in, in the region. If you had to pick one concern, what is your biggest concern when you look into the rest of the year and 2019? Well, now in Lebanon, our biggest concern is that we don't have a government. It's very important for us to have a government, a functioning government. Lebanon needs this government to start the, uh, a new investment plan. We already had a very successful conference in Paris, CEDAR conference, where we, ha the, we had commitments of, uh, for 11 billion to, in, to invest in this uh, plan for Lebanon. But we need to have the functioning government to be able to pass the laws, to be able to start benefiting from the investment plan. So I think it's very important for us. Uh, and this is the main concern. So hopefully, you know, our prime minister and president can soon form a new uh, government. Just to conclude, um, what is your, taking all these things that you've mentioned earlier, challenges and political stability in the country and within the region, what is your outlook then on the banking sector in Lebanon? And what role do you see your market the Lebanese market, playing in the bigger scheme of things, in the bigger Middle East banking landscape? Well, first of all, uh, I am positive. I think that the situation uh, in Lebanon will have a new government uh, soon. We are going to benefit from important funds that will be coming to Lebanon, and I think we're going to have a higher growth levels in the coming uh, years than we had uh, in the last three, four years after the Syrian crisis. 
So I am very positive. Plus, we have very important, also we are going to start the gas exploration as beginning of uh, next year. And there is a huge potential for gas in, in Lebanon. And this, I think, is going to be an important uh, game changer uh, for, for Lebanon. And I'm, I'm also, when I see the Lebanese and I see the talent that is in Lebanon, I think Lebanon is going to play a very important uh, role in the startup uh, companies. Already now we are seeing, uh, you know, we are a second country in the region after Dubai in terms of new startup companies, even though our situation is not stable. And I th think when the situation okay, improves, the point, yeah. yes, I think there's going to be a huge, uh, because there's a lot of uh, knowledge in, in Lebanon. We have really very well educated people and they have also this entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. So I think this is something that's going to be very important. So between the oil and gas and between the startup companies, I think the future of Lebanon is very, very positive. And the banking sector is going to benefit from the gr growing economy in Lebanon in the future. Do you have any last words then for us? Well, thank you again for coming here. You're welcome. You're most welcome. Look forward to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Mr. Azari.